move out. Roger. Okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. So, okay. So we have, like, a ton of fucking ammo now for all this. And I guess Ethan is actually dead. We're playing as Chris now. I'm guessing this is the village. Or at least it looks like it. for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. This more than we can do. Watch out. Well, they died really quickly to this. We've been fucking struggling against everything and now all of a sudden... Everything's going to die real quick. There we go. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take it. Don't get caught. Well, this is, um, at one end of the village. Yeah. Alright. So we gotta go this way. she is. We saw all this shit underneath the fucking ceremony site. And it's fucking dead. Or not yet. Both of them. Okay, I guess we're going this way. The fuck? This is all that fucking same mold. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. This house, the different house. house. Oh, can't go that way. Gotta go through the house over here. Umbra. 
Guys, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. Got him. This is actually where Ethan came into the village. So we've gone full circle now. And go that way. Should rather. Okay. Good thing we got a ton of ammo because a ton of these guys. Strike this bitch. Reloading now. Just a minute. It's a swarm heading that way. Well, shit. Let's throw a grenade. We'll take out most of them. Behind me. Bitch. Oh, it's this arrow guy shooting at me. I gotta get it before them. Fuckers. Go. 
probably just try and hit this thing. Guess I can't. While they're fucking hitting me in the back. Got him. Reload that. Hit this thing again. <laughs> Take that. Good. The mega mic seat must be below. Okay, I think there's supplies back here. Captain, the mega mic seat is underground. I'm on my way. Yep, looks like there's plenty of supplies over here. I could have lured them over here for an explosion. That's alright. Nothing in these houses, it looks like. All this uh, stuff. Anything over here? No. That is fine. We have plenty of ammo. Guess we gotta go underground then. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain. I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Oh, interesting. So it came from here, and then I guess got moved over to the bakers somehow? Hmm. That's interesting. It must have been here for a pretty long time then. Which makes sense, I guess, considering how long Miranda's been around. The fuck is down here? Oh, it's this guy. Take until you die. Ouch. Bitch. Just shoot this asshole. Fucking miss.
right on this guy. I think he's dead. So it's no problem. Or... No, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Giant crystal mace. Stay above ground. Okay. Now, how do we get up top? Oh, I guess it's over here, actually. Let's go through this cave system. So, if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt That's my question. Miranda even know Rose exists. A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's the Megamycete. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives aren't. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. Just been running around the entire game not knowing what the fuck's going on. This must be Miranda's lab. Subject name, Donna Beneviento. Could do affinity. Favorable. Brain functions normal, though severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally undeveloped, underdeveloped and has divided her kudu among her dolls in order, to in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. Wait, is Evelyn still alive? From Seven? Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Kadu affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs, similar to the electric ray. Narc Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity through the entire body, allowing control of man magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. Alcina Dimitrescu. Favorable Kadu affinity. Brain functions are normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood in, on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Salvatore Mor Moreau. Kadu affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. The Kadu has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. 
another subject with a regular cell division causing, excuse me, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Ava. I think they're meaning that Evelyn is still alive. This is a Kadu. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Why can't we just, like, break this shit open? Wanna kill that thing? Anyways. Um. Anything over here? Can't even check the map. What is this? Picture of some villager, maybe? Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. That is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My, apologize, my apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I might, thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor of virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your long, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. So, Umbrella Corporation has been here from the very beginning. This is the start of it all. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. This is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still the only side. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. So this is the real Mia. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me. Where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. I couldn't save him. 
But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Ethan? So he's still alive? Ethan is literally built different, apparently. What's going on? <laughs> Someone's there? It's cold. Where the fuck are we? That's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw you! So they infected him with something? Is that what they're trying to say? It's not like a dream or something. I I doubt that they would write it like that. Now do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Uh, 
I will save Rose. What the fuck was that? Now this must be reality. At last, must have been like awaits. a dream. Oh, we're in the Duke's thing. I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assume this much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who, what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. Rat a ceremony site. Gotta go. As you wish. Let's open up the shop and see if there's anything left for us to got to purchase, because that kind of gives me the I, the impression. That's what I meant. Um, gives me the impression that. We are gonna be doing the last bit of the game. Oh shit, I, I didn't even sell anything. Okay. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. And you know. Buy everything that we can. Uh -huh. All the ammo and everything. Uh -huh. Purchase and customize that. As well as we'll purchase the pipe so bomb and that. And I think that's about it. It we could buy this, but honestly, I think it would be not the smartest idea. So I think um, we're gonna hold Choose off on wisely. that. Your life may depend on it. Instead, let's buy okay, so we can buy this. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. We can buy this. There we go. Please be well. Thanks. It's probably going to be the last time that we actually talk to him. Oh, what's this behind us? More stuff. Awesome. Anything we can get over here? It seems like this is all blocked off, actually. Which, I mean, is fine. I mean, what else is there to really do except go to the, um, what's it called, uh, ceremony site, right? Like, that's the only thing left to do. I 
out of my way. We'll use um pistol first. Fucking die. Thank you. Dude. Why are there so many guys all of a sudden? Showing up out of nowhere. Just die. Thank you. I gotta keep going. We gotta go through here, apparently. Where are you at? There you are. Ow. No, I'm not 
not gonna hold still. After all, everyone dies. Great Mega Might! Sounds like you're having a bad time. It's dark now. Where is everything? Now it's too dangerous. I think it's time to get everything in my house. Oh, yes. The hell I will! Die, die, die! There she is. My daughter. <laughs> okay, so she's just trying to come I out of the darkness. Sounds like a personal problem. What is this? Wow. I can take any form of Why do you eat me? God. She's my goddamn daughter. You said I need to craft first aid. Craft two of them. We'll probably need them. Wow. Okay. Right as I said. Yeah. Oh no. No, 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 no. We're not changing the fucking um, difficulty. The fuck game? Here's what we'll do. So I forgot, actually, we have some power weapons. We might as well use those. Let's see. Have... What is that? 13 rounds of that? Let's use this first. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glory. Do not worry for the rose. I assure you I'll provide her with treats. So now you can die. Not let me break. Can you this again? Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours! How about we not? Ow. I won't die that easily. <laughs> There's one shot left in this. Damn it. Hear my prayer. 
let's use the wolf spain on you. How do you like that? Doesn't sound like you're having a good time. Okay. Come out of the shadows, I dare you. Now it's the winters. I think it's time you left things in mind. Supposed to shoot those, huh? How is that not killing you? This is supposed to do so much fucking damage. You can be using my meds. mold Ethan Ethan Come on Ethan Come on Ethan wake up Not looking good for Ethan Chris Ethan You did it It's finished I think we've finished each other We gotta move. <sighs> Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. We just wait for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> and you tell yourself. Now, come on, it's not that much further. Over. <laughs> Teach her to be strong. 
The sacrifice the moment? Better. Come on, man. I guess it makes sense though if he can't go back to his family if he's all this fucking mold. Must be in the transport or something. Go, go, take us up now. Wait, where's Ethan? Get moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go, not without my husband. Sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. Just tell her, dude. He wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? The big ass explosion. I told you to sit down. He's gone! I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? The fuck? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Fucking BSAA idiots. Why would they do some Someone's shit like that? Pay. Like that's rule number one of Resident Evil universes. Don't fuck with bioweapons. It's the end. So I guess Ethan really didn't make it. And here's the child's book in the beginning of the story. You know, that's a weird ending, but I feel like it probably is like that so that they can do dlc i'm guessing um i do think that uh you know all things considered the game was good regardless you know i enjoyed it um i wish we could have played as chris a little bit longer or at least maybe i should have played it a little more um recklessly you know because i was just being very careful um, gameplay-wise, I mean, it's not much different than 7, um, which we will probably play on the channel at some point, but, you know, uh, 7 is basically the prequel storyline to this game, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what does it really say? It's, it's a Resident Evil game, you know? Um, it's, it's a play on the same gameplay as the last one, which Seven introduced the story back into, 
a more like survival horror sort of uh, gameplay because it was becoming very much um, action oriented. The series was, you know, whereas it's just like, yeah, you might not have enough ammo for everything, but you're you're just fighting constantly. Whereas this is more like survival survival horror. That being said, um, I did get myself to a point in the game where I was just fighting everything. Um, and I probably wasn't supposed to be doing that, but... Gifts we gave, but oh well. Took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, my Interesting. Okay, so it's just a continue, like a to finish it out the story. They drive home the fact that Ethan is supposed to be dead now. Um. Yeah. I mean, I w I kind of wish you know that he could have survived and like I said maybe the DLC will explain that he is alive but at the same time it kind of gives uh, some closure to the Ethan Winters um, storyline uh, which was which started in the last one and you know kind of makes sense to bring this game as a, as a sequel to the seven to Resident Evil 7 because, you know, there were some questions unanswered in Resident Evil 7, even if he played the storyline afterwards in the DLC. There was some unexplained things, and this definitely did a good job of tying, in, tying the story back into um, the previous games. You know, things like how Umbrella Corporation... Um, was actually inspired by Miranda's uh, work in this village. Because, um, you know, Spencer from the other games, um, he actually decided to develop a virus based off of Miranda's research in the village. So in a way, this is like going back and finding the origins to everything. Um, and I think they did a good job, you know, like... Whenever you do that sort of storyline, um, like an origin storyline for some evil corporation, it's very easy to, um, fuck that up. And I think that they didn't really fuck it up, you know, because... They didn't do the classic thing of like evil guy, evil guy, and you know, he just like is toiling away, somehow manages to figure something out and from there, you know. And it was like gave the, the they gave a full on um like origin to everything that involved Umbrella Corporation, because you know, this village that we're in has all the sort of things that you would see Umbrella Corporation being involved in, but at the same time, this game didn't have any Umbrella Corporation involvement at all, really. Um, so, yeah. If I were to think what they would do to take the storyline next, I mean, they said that they were gonna go to BSAA headquarters and say, like, what the fuck are you doing sending out bioweapons um, into the field? That would probably be where they take it next. But I feel like the, um... 
the, the Ethan Winters storyline is definitely gone. Like, there's no place to really take that further unless um, you somehow bring Ethan Winters back from the dead. Um, but I think it's probably better unless they have some sort of like really good reason as to why he's still alive. It's probably better if they keep him dead so that they can, you know, make a new storyline and they can still have the same characters and all that, you know, obviously you don't need to get rid of all the characters, but you know, they can start a new storyline um, from there. One thing they didn't really do, which I am interested to see if they ever do in the future, is they didn't show Rose's Rose's power. Which I mean to be fair, she's just a child, so like probably she has no way of controlling her abilities. But they kind of just like built up this whole storyline around her her powers, you know, that she apparently has. Um and we never get to see that, uh, so it could have been kind of interesting to see that at some point. But maybe they'll do that, you know, in either a DLC for this, um, or a later storyline in the franchise. Because I, I doubt this is going to be the last one that they do. Um, other than that, I mean, I think it was interesting that Mia was implied to have had a miscarriage and we fought that baby down in that basement but I feel like um that could have been been done better like maybe we could have fought that because I do feel like the Beneviento fight with the doll was a little bit anticlimactic in comparison to the other ones especially in comparison to Lady Dimestru Dimitrescu uh it felt a little lackluster. Yeah. Was this Rose? Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is. Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Why the fuck? You fucking asshole. Stand down. Can it. Why would you fucking call her Evelyn? <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know.
Who is that? Knew it. Ethan's story is now done, so now they're going to go with Rose's story. Great dad and best dad and best dad ever. I guess that's what you get for doing the difficulties. Yeah. I get some extra stuff. Oh, I guess this is all the challenges that we did by doing things in the in the game. Yeah, we'll overwrite it as completed. Yeah. And so that is Resident Evil Village, guys. Um, I just want to take a quick look at the bonus content. Um, I guess this is a... Oh, this is the rifle that I think we were using. I don't know. Must be the Dragoon, actually. Yeah. So I guess you can replay the game and... have all this uh, extra firepower to play with. Which I guess makes sense. You know, if you want to just breeze through the fucking... Um, what's it called? <laughs> You just want to breeze through the content of the game. There's some back behind the scenes stuff there and concept art. You have to purchase it with um, challenge points though. So they, they seem to want you to play this game more than once, obviously. But I think... Uh, I think it's fine without, you know, if you play once, you kind of get the, the story at least. Um, but I guess if you're playing like the Villager Shadows, you really want to have all the extra firepower in it and all that. So, but anyways, um, we'll end the series here and um, next time we'll play another game. Um, but for now, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. So see ya.